One thing I learned over the last three years in the UAE, if you look at AI development and AI spending, number one is the US, number two is China, number three, UAE. And so, the, and they are very, very, very advanced in agent development. The idea that, you know, I could develop an AI Kevin or an AI um, actor or an AI CEO, you should see their technology. We, I okay. just shot a commercial there for one development, uh, a real estate company. I've never seen a studio like that, completely AI compliant, massive digital walls. We didn't have to do post-production the same way because the AI linked the, the, the script directly to what was playing in the background being shot simultaneously. We saved hundreds of thousands of dollars of development costs. These guys are nailing it over there. And all of my AI stuff is, most of it's originating there with my own team. And so that's a big investment of philosophy for, or, you know, uh, focus for me is to, is to work within the UAE on these. Um, and they're very big in other asset classes. Watches, for example, Watch Week is coming up in November. Uh, the Siddiqui family. I mean, if you're, if you're into watches worldwide, you know this family. They're like, they're huge in watches and just the direction of watches and all that stuff. And watch insurance is big for me. Wonder Care is my watch insurance company. I'm going to launch it over in the UAE as well. Very much part of what we're doing with Siddiqui. So I think all of this stuff fits together. You have to think globally. You have to think globally. You don't want to put all the eggs in one geography. They all fit together. Trump's visit to the UAE was about AI, making sure that the NVIDIA chip was the supreme chip, not the Huawei chip in a country that's spending so much on AI. You want to have NVIDIA stack there. And so all the developers work within the sphere of friendship around American technology. And that was important for Saudi Arabia too. All of this fits together. So you have to, you have to, you have to understand how this giant policy puzzle fits to put your capital in the right places at the right time.